Dear students, welcome to virtual classroom of Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. I am Sri Kumar. The class is for 9th standard students. Subject is Mathematics. Let me begin the class. Part 1 of your textbook is mainly dealing with numbers, algebra, commercial mathematics, data handling, that is statistics. Dear students, algebra and statistics will provide the foundation for higher studies. On the other hand, Maths Part 2 is mainly dealing with logical proofs, logical reasoning, mensuration, coordinate geometry, trigonometry, etc. Some of these topics are new to you, especially coordinate geometry, trigonometry are new to you. Mensuration, you have studied about solid geometry, where you studied about sphere, cube, cuboid, different shape, size. So, there are something new, something which is an extension of what you have learned last year. And at the same time, you can see the cover page of the textbook. The textbook cover page is showing some measurement here, some kind of uh, shapes and size over here. Anyway, the boy is very happy. I think that you also will be happy to go through this textbook. This particular textbook will be helping you to develop logical reasoning. And the skill of logical reasoning is at most important in all fields of life. Dear students, let us get into the textbook to know that what is the first step topic over here. The first topic is basic concepts in geometry. I think the same topic was there in sixth standard. Same name, same topic. And luckily the first point, line, plane, these things are also very, very much known to you. We have studied about it. Something new is there that is coordinates of a point and distance. Then the concept of betweenness the concept of uh, conditional statements which you will be learning from this chapter as well as what is meant by proof. So this is about basic concepts in geometry. So first of all you should know what is geometry. The word geometry is generated from the Greek word geo and metri otherwise metria is having a sense measuring. Maybe it must have started with the measuring different things on the earth anyway anything and everything on earth and including earth is having its own shape size and measurement and geometry deals about it by definition geometry is a branch of mathematics concerned with properties and relationships of point lines whether say like a big big high dimensional analogs are coming under the purview of geometry so it's a vast subject and interestingly we know that big big structures famous world heritage structures like pyramid and many monuments in our country including Taj Mahal all these are having its own shape size and measurement and and yourself also very sure that first the picture the structure must have made in a paper with accurate measurement to begin with. Why to say about big, big things? Small things if you imagine. Simply the SIM cards, SD cards, which you are and myself is also very familiar with, is having its own shape, size and measurement and thickness. Is it a SIM card like a concept mobile phone may Because it has got its own shape, size and measurement and geometry deals with that. So it becomes interesting. Moreover, more than shape, size and measurement, accuracy is very important. It is so accurate that the particular SD card is properly fit into with all those notches and shape into the mobile. That accuracy, millimeter accuracy is the with measurement in geometry. So let us think about something more. See the picture over here, our own BMC head office. Some of you might have seen that, otherwise you should go and see it. The structure of uh, the building, CSMT, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus, railway station. Look at the structure. Again, I would like to say that first, 
the diagram the shape the size the structure must have drawn in a paper with the help of uh, geometrical measurement born in mind then the building is constructed then the things are made that means anything and everything around us is having measurement and geometry in it so let us start learning about geometry interestingly to learn about geometry the first thing you require is a point can you see a point on the screen the screen itself is made up of millions and millions of points but to show you i have put a point i'll make the point to move around the screen the point just to show you can be put on a screen it can be on the board and it can be in your paper now if you have a paper and pen with otherwise you should have put a point in your paper because geometry this branch of mathematics starts with a point and that point can be above your head or the center of the room you are sitting it's a small 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 smallest location so point is a location in space definition must be perfectly made point if you ask what is a point it is an exact location in space it can be anywhere but to make you understand and to make myself explain i need to put a point on the screen and if you put too many points together something will starts appearing and we have named it as line this you have studied in previous years and where you found that whenever you draw a line you will put an arrow mark on both end to show that इधर किधर खत्म होने वाला नहीं है इट इज एंडलेस अ लाइन इज एन एंडलेस कलेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट्स अंडरस्टूड एंड इफ यू जस्ट टेक आउट अ पीस ऑफ दैट लाइन नाइदर दैट एंड दिस एंड नो एरो मार्क्स देन वी नेम इट एज लाइन सेगमेंट एंड इट हैज एन पॉइंट सो वी ऑलवेज नेम अ लाइन सेगमेंट विद टू अल्फाबेट्स लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी बट व्हाइल वी नेम अ लाइन वी विल सिंपली नेम इट एज लाइन एल L दोड़ा बड़ा हो गया चले यार लाइन L means that line but when line segment we need to write line segment AB segment AB because it has got two end points इसलिए दो लेटर मिनिमम चाहिए and if you take the other part of the line with one arrow head and other end fixed we name it as ray these all things you have studied in sixth standard it has got one end point the other side endless but when you think about plane वापस तकलीफ में आ गया प्लेन बताने के लिए मुश्किल है सो so, ऐसा एक ड्राइंग बनाना पड़ता है एक सरफेस से प्लेन टेबल सरफेस इज ए प्लेन टेबल सरफेस इज ए प्लेन आपका बुक का सरफेस एक प्लेन है मोबाइल का स्क्रीन एक प्लेन है वर्टिकल हॉरिजॉन्टल इनक्लाइन कौन सा भी डायरेक्शन में प्लेन आ सकता है and it can expand in all direction that is why chalon dara pero mark wala hai and if table surface is a plane agar main uske upar ek line which this is the plane nahi bol sakte mujhe aur ek point lena padega kam se kam to main a b c karke plane mark karenge so at least three points are required to uh, mathematically present plane on a surface and the surface itself is the plane understood because it's a limitation of our board and screen aapko malum hai you have studied about the solar system सोलर सिस्टम अर्थ एंड अदर प्लैनेट्स ऑल दिस आर स्वेरिकल जब हम जब हम लोग अपने बुक में टीचर बोर्ड में या स्क्रीन में दिखाने के लिए वो सब चपाती के जैसा हो जाता है चपाती के जैसा नहीं है ना इट इज स्वेरिकल सो वी हैव लिमिटेशन ऑफ ड्राइंग सच फिगर्स बट लकली वी आर हैविंग टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ टू शो यू थ्री डायमेंशनल फिगर्स ऑन स्क्रीन व्हिच विल बी डन लेटर सो प्ले इज अ सरफेस उतना आपको याद रख लेट अस गो इनटू द टेक्स्ट बुक व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट this is about a number line and its coordinates points this is a new topic where number line is known to you numbers are known to you integers are known to you but there are certain coordinate points here written in the form of alphabets a b c d e etc this is what is the concept which we are developing in you the concept of coordinate of points we are giving some alphabet to each point so that we can address that point with that alphabet that is what is the concept of coordinate of a point for example the coordinate of point b is coordinate of point b is 3 likha b is minus 3 likha so this b is representing minus 
So you got an idea about it. The coordinate of point B is minus 3. And the coordinate of point A and E puts it up. A is minus 5 and that of E is 3. So coordinate of point B means minus 3. A means minus 5. E means 3. We are designating certain alphabet to those points. This is the concept of coordinate of points. If I ask you what is the coordinate of point coordinate of C, you will say that the coordinate of C is minus 2. Understood? This is the first thing you have to learn. This is a particular branch of mathematics language. This is mobile language, save, copy, delete. Correct? That way, every subject is having its own language. If you don't know the concept of the language of that particular subject, you cannot go ahead. So keep in mind that we are learning about what we are learning about, we are learning about coordinate of points. Coordinate of points are locations denoted on number line with the help of alphabets and numbers. Keeping this in mind, let us go ahead a little more about coordinate of points where we will be studying about the distance between coordinate points. The distance between coordinate of points, whenever distance comes, we know that we should get the difference. So distance malum Here also on the number line, if you want to find out the distance between coordinate of points, we should find out the difference. Whenever we have to find out the difference, we have to go for subtracting the larger from the sorry, the smaller from the larger, right? Smaller from the larger. So we have another problem here. This indigenous knowledge is very important. Number line में right side में जाने के time number का value बढ़ता है, left में जाने के time कम होता है. मतलब minus one is bigger than minus five. यहाँ पढ़ा है negative one is bigger than negative five. Integers में पढ़ा होगा six times अगर. मैं आप मेरे ये ये video के नीचे description में मैं आपको एक link डालूँगा जिसमें आपको integers का एक revision हो जाएगा. Click on that link, you will get a video on uh, what we say integers that will help you to rewind, remember, recollect integers, addition, and subtraction. That is very essential here in order to get the correct answer. But conceptually, distance between coordinate points is found by finding out the difference between the coordinate points. For that, we should subtract the smaller from the large. And that is what is the distance. And that distance, in this case, if, you are, if the question is distance between B and E, we will have smaller coordinate is here 1 and bigger is 3. So naturally, 3 minus 1, 2 will be the answer. Good, but about me. Like it? Serious. Why? Because we will develop this into another concept of coordinate geometry later. So you should have a concept of distance very clear. And distance is denoted by D. Small d is the alphabet used. Distance in bracket e comma d because this is the distance of points e and d. Understood? It is just length only, but you should understand clear way of presenting it. Why? Because this will be used later for further learning regarding this topic. So remember that we just understood what is meant by coordinate of points. Second point is distance between coordinate points. Let us move ahead. Some more examples are there in your textbook. Just I have copied here for you. The first one is already done. Second one is the distance between coordinate points C and D. C is, what is C? C is here. Minus 2. And D is here. 1. And we are sure that 1 is bigger. So 1 minus minus 2. Negative 2. Naturally, integer subtraction changed the sign, minus 2 became plus 2, and subtraction is addition, and you get 3 by using the rules of addition. It's very simple again, if integer addition subtraction is known. Another example from your textbook, find the distance between A, B coordinate points. Again, A is minus 5, B is minus 3. So again, minus 3 or minus 5, which is bigger, minus 3 is bigger, so minus 3, minus, minus 5. Naturally, 
again application of integer subtraction change with the sign we get plus 5 instead of subtraction addition now minus 3 plus 5 in the addition format difference is 2 and the sign of bigger absolute value positive so this with answer is one more example you can find in the textbook that will help you to understand this more better the points remember is that the distance between two distinct points on a number line is by unit wise it is positive if the points are not two distinct points not distinct matlab kya ho gaya aapko agar aisa kuch question pucha what is the distance between coordinate point a comma a puchenge aisa bhi puchenge maths mein aisa bhi puchenge kyunki aapko logical reasoning padhana hai logically a and a is same point not a distinct point so the answer will be automatically zero okay so that is what one point so the point is clear here the distance between two distinct points is always a positive number if two points are not distinct then the distance between them will be zero let's go ahead and the conclusion is drawn here you are supposed to remember this you can just note down in your book this is the conclusion of this video the distance between two point is obtained by subtracting the smaller coordinate from the larger coordinate the distance between any two point is a non negative real number and the next topic is about between us which will be dealt in the next video that's all from me today thank you now click on the subscription button to subscribe the channel and bell button to get the notifications of new video